Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Brain Soul Success Show, where we take back our power. Hey, this is just a solo, quick little podcast here to uh, to share with you the five steps to really having the type of success that you want in your business. So if you're an entrepreneur, uh, you're a coach, you're a therapist, you're a doctor, you know, you're listening here. Uh, first, I just want to say to all of you, I thank you so much for listening to the Brain Soul Success Show. Um, how did I even like put together brain and soul, right? Here's what I figured out. Okay? When we're working on being successful, there's all kinds of tips and tricks and all kinds of, you know, different people, gurus talking about all, all kinds of ways to make, make that happen for yourself. Um, and yet there's pieces to it, right? It's not one thing. It's not like take this class or this webinar and suddenly you're going to have clients or have, you know, your million dollar business, right? Um, so really it, it's some, it's steps. And I found that the steps to really doing this, there's five parts um, and it calls, it's called my brain system. And the reason why these steps work together is because when you do things multidimensionally or multi-sensory at the same time, it sticks. So as I go through these today, you're going to find and you're going to listen and see that you've probably done pieces of all of these at some point in time during your career. And yet when you don't do them simultaneously together, the energy doesn't stick. We're energy. We're energetic beings. And you can actually retrain your brain and take what we call quantum leaps or a quantum jump. And it's, it's, it's a combination, again, of tools, brain soul hacks, meditation, getting into a certain brain wave that makes that happen. So here's the steps. Let me actually see if I can share my screen here and find those steps for you. So the steps spell brain, B-R-A-I-N. And it's the program that I put together um, as I was learning all of this. Oh, gosh, let's see. Here you go. Okay. So it spells brain. And the first part is body. B equals body. So Taking care of your body is important. If you want to be successful, you've got to have a, a powerful brain that's working, that can be creative, and a body that feels good. When you're in pain, you're not going to be able to think, create, interact with people, get speaking engagements, whatever you're working on. So taking care of your body, that's eating healthy. Right, that's taking good quality supplements. Check out our store. I've got great quality supplements that I actually put frequency in. So I'm enhancing them with extra frequency so they're absorbed better. So you don't want to be taking the, you know, the Costco Walmart, Walmart brands of vitamins. You know, you want to look for something that's really going to be high quality that's going to work for you and work with a professional who can help you do that. Okay. So if you do have a health issue, you want to work with somebody who really can help you get healthy, exercise, sleep, all those body pieces. That's important. That's foundational. Okay. So if you're not doing that piece, it's going to be hard to create the success that you want in your, in your life, in your business. The next part is releasing. And this is really important to release the mental chatter and the emotional baggage that's keeping you stuck, maybe at a certain plateau. So what I also found was we are like whole people and we're energetic beings and ancestral programs or patterns get stuck and they get stuck in the spaces of your brain and they'll actually cause little lesions or cellular memory bumps. Now, there was a doctor that actually did the research on this and I love the brain. Okay, I lost my own brain power, had to find it. And so I do all these pieces now with my clients and for myself as well. So releasing the mental chatter and emotional baggage, this doctor, Dr. Hamer, actually took spec scans of people's brains. What happened was, briefly, the story is he ended up with testicular cancer three months after his son was shot and killed. And he said to himself, you know, it must be the grief 
the trauma, of course, of losing my son that caused this cancer. I was happy and healthy before what happened. So he took pictures of people's brains. So he took a spec scan of his brain and found there was a little lesion in a certain part. And then he started doing that for all of his patients. And he started to see themes. And he found that there were certain what he called traumas. It stinks moments. Um, and later, the little lesions in the brain were called Hamer heard after his name, Dr. Hamer. So what happened was he ended up clearing trauma, helping his patients clear trauma, and then did the after pictures of the brain and the lesion was gone. So you can look this up. It's Hamer New Medicine. It's online. And he had whole charts he put together with different types of illnesses and cancers that were caused by certain traumas, if you will. And it's fascinating work, completely fascinating, right? So what I found was, you know, here we are, we're trying to create and you're using all your mindset tools and you just took a new class on mindset. You just went to a new event, you know, and you're still stuck. Well, it's because we haven't released the ancestral patterns that are keeping you there and those lesions in the brain. So I do that. How do I do that? It's a, a toolbox, if you will. It's brain soul hacks. There's lots of places that I, that I teach those. And we do have a masterclass coming up here on June 12th that, uh, that you're, you want to invite all of you to because I'll be teaching some of those brain hacks. And so they're really powerful and they take five minutes to do and you can learn them quickly. I love it. I love how many people can use this now and get some results, right? Finally, in, uh, in releasing stress and creating the business that they, they want. So that's the releasing part, but it's a huge tool bag of different, different techniques and different methods of releasing those ancestral programs. Align with spirit is also, also a part of, of success, of healing, right? Healing your life, healing your business. And so align spiritually to raise your frequency to attract success and prosperity. Now, raising your frequency is super important. When you're at a high vibration, you will attract what it is that you desire. But even more so than that, we don't attract what we want. We attract who we are. So this whole system gets you back to who you are. I call it 100% your soul's truth. When all that baggage is peeled off, the poverty from great-great-grandfather, the fact that it got passed down to your mom and dad, and then they said money doesn't grow on trees, and then that was implanted in your brain, and now you're having trouble making the money you want. It's a pattern. We have to release it. But not only do we have to release it, we need to rewire or reboot your brain, body, mind, spirit with the right program. So integrating the I, integrating your brain frequencies to your soul's true purpose, it has more to do with who you are, how you're showing up, the vibration you're showing up at, and putting the new program in. It's like a software upgrade. So we're putting in like a new program in your, I'm going to call it bio computer, okay? So you are, your brain is like a computer and biocomputer is field. You actually have an energy, energy around your body and around your brain. And your brain actually has capacitor rings around it. So there's rings around the brain. And when they're off balance, you will feel off balance and it will be hard for you to create what it is you want to create. So again, when we do these five steps together, B-R-A-I-N, and it's multidimensional that way, and you do them at the same time, it sticks. And you literally can release anxiety and trauma that's been stuck or trapped in the body and the mind and the spirit for years, for years, oftentimes even the womb. So you may have energies from your mom, 
um, when you were in, you know, in her, when you were in the womb. And we have to clear those for you to be 100% your soul's truth. So when you do all these steps together, the results are amazing. So when people become 100% their soul's truth, here's what I've seen with all of my, you know, my amazing clients. And I think I'll share that too. Let me show you this. Because maybe this will help you see that you have a place to go to even look at this. So you can go to brainsoulsuccess.com. And if you're on YouTube and watching this, if you're just listening, you can go there and find the success stories tab and just read some success stories. So again, this is just what can happen for you when you do this five-part system. So Aureli, how has this not changed my life? I'm the happiest that I could ever be. You know, my mom, my sisters, my family are reaping the benefits from the ancestral clearing. It feels like my whole family is being lifted. Okay, Lisa, found things in me that I didn't even know we, they were there. When Dr. Louise cleared my field and used her biofeedback frequencies, I was supported through my whole event. This was the best event I've ever had, and I'm so grateful, you know, to Dr. Louise. Um, Lana, Lana lost her husband, so she took care of him for nine years. She was in a lot of grief and a lot of pain. And, um, you know, her whole body just got physically lighter. She lost 22 pounds and later 34 pounds was the total without dieting, just clearing all the grief and all the stress. Now she's living like her dessert life. It's so awesome to see. Um, so this is just results, right, of using this five-part system. Leslie came in with a brain lesion created by an accident that she was in, um, Ended up um, retiring from nursing after being a nurse, I think, for four years or more. She was um, she was a surgical nurse, but she had vertigo and six medications and all kinds of things that she was on. And we did some one-to-one -one work, and then she learned to do the work, to do the brain system herself and use all of the tools. And her whole like life, mind, body, spirit has changed completely her whole life has changed she got engaged i mean like everything changed why because we're getting you back to being 100 percent your soul's truth right so we have to find ways to do that so if you are listening to this and you need some help with that definitely reach out to me um, and many of you have you've taken a lot of the mindset work maybe you've had great success in your life and in your business um, I recently listened to um, another gentleman talk about how he ended up losing everything. So he ended up losing his, you know, I don't know, I think it was a billion dollar business, right? His billion dollar business and then also lost his marriage. And so things just like really completely fell apart. And the the putting back together of his life was really about taking care of his body, he said, and finding a spiritual path. Those are the two things that changed his life. So he did a lot of the inner work, if you will, so that it would reflect in the outer. So especially if you're on that personal growth path and you're stuck, right? And you're like, hey, I've reached this plateau and I can't get past it. I really I want to create this next piece, this next chapter of my, of my life. And you're finding that things are a struggle. I just want to say to you all, it can be more flow. You can live in flow. And when you live in flow, you can actually literally sort of quantum leap your brain to be in different scenarios, different places. And it's about getting into both a theta brain wave and an alpha brain wave. And so I do that with a neurobiofeedback and then teaching people brain hacks to get there. And then you can visualize what it is you want to do or be. Um, and you literally can like, it's like a time warp. I don't know how to describe it. It's like quantum leaping to a whole new place, but it's really you. It's your soul's truth. And you, you want to be there, but you can create many, many different scenarios for yourself and successes for yourself in lots of different areas, whether it be relationship, whether it be personal, whether it be your business, whether it be your home, maybe you want to feng shui your home with using some of these 
some of these tools. So very simply, just think about even just dropping into meditation for a minute. Okay, so let's go into a theta brainwave today. So I'm going to invite you all to just kind of sit back, get nice and tall, though, so you could breathe in. So sit up tall in your chair. I'm going to kind of scoot back, too, and, and sit up nice and tall. And let's take a deep, a deep breath in. You can do this with eyes open or eyes closed, and then let it out. So you want to fill your belly with, with air. You, it'll feel like your belly's expanding a little bit, okay? So let's, let's breathe in here. And out. And again, filling up your belly like a big balloon. And out. And again. And now just imagine that you have roots growing from the bottom of your feet. And it's going through the floor, through the center of the earth. So going all the way down into the center. So it's going through the floor. Maybe there's a layer of rock, a layer of sand, you know, molten lava. Take it all the way to the center of the earth. And then wrap these roots around a gemstone. Okay, your choice. Emerald, diamond, ruby, amethyst, whatever you choose. So wrap those roots around a gemstone. And now we're going to climb back, come back up that root system into your feet and through your body. So up through your legs and through your torso. And as we're climbing up through your body, there's going to be a golden beam of light that comes through you. So just kind of picture a golden beam of light in the center of your body coming through your heart chakra, through your throat. And you're going to climb up this golden beam of light as it's going up into the heavens. So come out your top of your head. And you're climbing up this beautiful golden beam of light into the heavens and the atmosphere above. And as you're climbing, you pass the planets the stars, the moon. You're still going up. And you go through this dark, almost very dark blue, almost black void of space. There's nothing. And you're still climbing up this golden beam of light. You go through the dark blue void of space and into this beautiful white luminescent light. This light goes on forever. This is the place of all creation. You're now in your theta brainwave. The theta brainwave is the place of all creation. It's when you're creative, it's not deep sleep, but it's that Peace and meditation or that place of meditation where it's just before sleep, before a deeper sleep. So when you're in this beautiful white light, I want you to fill this in. Say, I don't know how I'm going to blank. Whatever it is you desire, put it in that blank. All I know is I do now. And I feel fulfilled. And now see on this giant white screen, you're in this white light, this huge white movie screen. See the scene of what it is you filled that blank in with what you want to create. Like you're watching a movie. You want to see the visual of that? Hear the sounds. Smell the smells. Feel the feelings.
see the colors, make it vivid, make it bright. Give it three dimensions. Make sure you're watching this movie. of what it is you desire. See it, feel it, embody it. Good job. Now we're gonna take that beautiful movie We're going to go back down that golden beam of light. You're traveling through that white luminescent light. And then through that dark blue void of space. Going down this golden beam of light, carrying that visual with you, almost like it's a pack on your back and you've got it with you. Now you go past the stars, the planets, the galaxies, this beautiful space. Traveling that golden beam of light, rewinding in this new holographic pattern, this movie that you created, and unwinding in the old, the old DNA is unwinding here. And you're creating a new, a new you a new DNA pattern. Come back down that golden beam of light into your crown chakra, through your head, into your body, and anchor. Anchor that in your heart. And if you like, put your hands on your heart here. And say, thank you, and it is done. Good. And now we're going to ground that. So get back grounded. We're going to take those roots from the bottom of your feet again. Go down through the floor, the rock, the sand, the lava. And wrap those roots around a gemstone. And firmly ground them in the earth. Your whole body, mind, and spirit is one, one with the universe, one with yourself, with your soul's truth. Knowing that this new holographic pattern, this new chapter in your life begins this moment. As you continue to see that movie and feel it in your heart, feel those feelings, the exhilaration, the excitement, the accomplishment, the beauty, the peace, the joy. A celebration. Let's take another couple deep breaths here. Expanding your heart. And one more. Say thank you and it is done. Good job, everyone. So that's a, a type of meta. It's called a theta meditation because we went into the theta brainwave. You should be feeling more relaxed, more peaceful, more joyful, and also more empowered that you're creating this new life, this new chapter, that new movie that you saw. 
So practice that. Practice that every night, okay? Or four nights a week at least. Okay, practice your theta meditation. And the more you practice and the more you play there, the easier it'll be for you to get there quickly to be able to create, again, 100% soul truth and being present with what you want to create in your life. How cool is that, right? I've had so many people love this meditation and do this. So that's just one little brain hack. There are so many more. And we're going to be teaching a couple super easy brain hacks that take like under five minutes to do um, that I just love. And I use them every single day, every morning, throughout the day. Um, I actually go on my patio and do these. And so I want to share these all with you um, in a masterclass coming up. So June 12th, we're going to roll out Peak Performance Secrets. Okay, three brain hacks for your entrepreneurial growth. Um, and if you're here and you're listening to me and you don't know my story, um, you know, I was super sick. I was on oxygen for three years. I went down to 89 pounds. I had to get my brain power back. Um, it's how I created all this. And so I ended up, you know, everything from naturopathic school, NLP, biofeedback, energy work, trauma release work, kinesiology. Um, I took a ton, a ton of classes, put it all together, wove it all together, and it became the brain system. So that's the five-part system that I use. And I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs triple their income, have the success that they want. And I've had two successful businesses. Um, I sold Albuquerque Natural Health Center, and I've literally made millions of dollars with my businesses. I never thought that was going to be possible. I was on oxygen and 89 pounds and $84,000 in credit card debt with two little kids at home. And I just kept thinking, we got to get them to college someday. How are we going to get out of this? Um, but we did it because I kept seeking and I kept quantum leaping. And taking these like quantum leaps in my own mind and learning new tools and then putting them all together. So I invite you, invite a friend. <laughs> We're going to rock and roll on June 12th to our Peak Performance Secrets. And again, thank you for being here. And please do review, you know, rate and review this podcast and uh, share, it with a, share it with a friend. Um, and let me know. Let me know how this is uh, landing for you. You know, and what else you'd like to uh, to hear? Um, either me share or um, type of guests that you would love here. I love, love, love interviewing people as well. Um, but it also, it's for you. It's in service to all of you listening here, right? That's the goal. That's the intention is for you to achieve what it is you want to achieve and be who you want to be and be 100% your soul's truth in your life, um, in your business. And like I say, with relationships and in all areas. So again, thank you for being with me here. I'm actually doing this in the evening. Thank you for being with me here tonight. So have a great day, everyone. And remember, follow your heart, but take your brain with you.